everyone welcome to digi prits today i'm going to share a full tour of all the touristy places in singapore so let's begin with the singapore flyer this is day four of our trip and we're finally excited to be exploring all the touristy places if you want to watch all of our previous videos from singapore as well then i'll link them in the description box below for you all to watch so at around 6 pm we had reached the flyer and i want to specially call out our teammate chris for helping us out by waiting in the queue and getting us all of the tickets it was priced at 33 singaporean dollars you can also purchase the tickets online if you plan this well in advance here we are a bunch of goofballs just exploring singapore I wish I could play the song. We're only getting older, baby. And I've been thinking about it lately. But then I would be hit by a copyright strike. So here's to making more memories together. There wasn't a lot of rush on this particular weekday, so that was good. This is a virtual photo booth, and I could just get only a split second of it. Late evenings are the best time to visit this place, in my opinion, to watch the illuminated views of the city skyline. This is open from Thursday to Sunday and it starts at 2 pm. Comment down below the number of times you've seen Pratik do the wave dance in the background throughout the video. We are about to enter our capsule now. So there are about 28 individual capsules like this one which can accommodate about 28 people each. This place is completely air conditioned so there is no suffocation at all. One rotation of this capsule from start till the end is for about 30 minutes so you can enjoy the view for that much time. You can experience the feeling of being on top of the world here. As you can see, this flyer stands 165 meter tall and it's equivalent to a 42 story high building. Its diameter is of 150 meters, which is almost the length of 87 men lying down head to toe. Apart from what you see on the screen, there are also some interesting facts about the Singapore flyer. Its lucky number is 28 and that's why it has 28 air conditioned capsules which can accommodate 28 guests and it takes about 28 rotations every day. So the numbers 2 and 8 are considered to be prosperous in the Chinese culture. You get to see a lot of iconic and renowned landmarks of Singapore right from here like Marina Bay, Singapore River, Raffles Place, Merlin Park, among others. Here's a shot of the very lit and breathtaking view of the city. Then we were just trying to switch on our flashlights and get some good pictures of ourselves at least from here. Where are we? We are the highest point of Asia. <laughs> Outside of the amazing view that the Singapore Flyer offers, it also hosts a lot of indoor attractions like the Time Capsule, the 60 Theatre and the 737 Simulator. Post the magical experience, we decided to walk to Boogie Street to indulge in some shopping. In case you don't want to walk, you can also use the MRT which is basically mass rapid transit system in Singapore. It's probably the fastest way to zip around the city as well and it's quite inexpensive if you're traveling solo. You can use Gojek cabs uh, which would also be an affordable option if you're traveling in a group. Most of the popular attractions in Singapore are just a short walk away from an MRT station so going through the train is a great way to get around but since Boogie Street was right around the corner we decided to go by foot. At Boogie's, you'll find a lot of souvenirs, bags, clothes, jewellery and also some tech-related stuff for you to easily buy. Since it was almost about the time for Boogie Street to close, we decided to take a cab to Little India for some dinner or rather Indian khana. After eating dinner, we went back to Atlier and called it to close for the night and just had some very good rest because tomorrow is an exciting day as we go to Universal Studios. At around 8 a.m. we were done with our breakfast, checked out Chinatown for a bit and headed out to go to Universal Studios and here is a quick glimpse of our actual behind the scene conversations. Sir, I have this. You're only waiting only the entire time. Only two mint chocolates. Kisi ko share karna to bolo. Sunny, you have to post your signature post. Sunny, you have to post your signature post. Hey, Sunny, please take non-consensual pictures like this. Yes. Everyone needs consent. This is Chinatown and it's one of the most cutest places I've seen in Singapore. Just the amount of vibrancy, the colours and just how the buildings look. It's just so fancy and it makes up for some of the most picturesque locations to get very nice portraits of yourself. 
I'm so excited about Universal Studios because it's a very well-known name and it itself reminds us of all of the wonderful and amazing movies that were produced by this production house. Like imagine that there's a theme park that brings all of its characters and stories to life. So it has different places like Hollywood, New York, science fiction city, ancient Egypt, Lost World, Madagascar and everything has a certain significance in the real world and also in the movies. So these are all such wonderful rides and I can't wait to experience it. We are at Universal. Woohoo! We made it. We made it. Since it was raining the previous day, we did not pre-book our tickets here and decided to buy them directly once we reached there. Since it was a Friday there was as usual a lot of crowd it was summer vacation time at school here so a lot of parents brought their kids to the theme park some of the rides here are known for its exciting loops sudden turns breathtaking drops and thrilling near collisions that will make us scream our heart out laughter and screams are heard around every corner and lasting memories are made by everyone everyone so excited happy taking pictures everywhere and i for once i'm so so happy and you can see the sparkle of happiness in my eyes that i'm here and it was an experience that i will never ever forget it and it's going to stay with me for a lifetime the normal ticket was priced at 80 singaporean dollars and it allows you to take all the rides inside given the crowd we decided to first go and finish all the rides and then focus on taking pictures it was like a reverse strategy to avoid the crowd and it worked so well in our favor we first went to the Battlestar Galactica ride, the most scariest one here so far, and it ripped my soul out for sure when we just flipped upside down on the Cylon ride. The human one was comparatively better, I must say. I didn't get a chance to film all of the ride experiences because we kept all of our belongings in the locker room and left. We were then super hungry and decided to take a break and go to Mel's and had a quick burger before we stepped into the next amazing short film that we were going to watch which is the 4D Tinkerbell slash Shrek slash etc. Very fun movie to watch. Apart from this, I also highly recommend and enjoyed watching Lights Camera Action hosted by Steven Spielberg. It was one breathtaking performance that they showed us how everything is done behind the scenes. We then jumped on to the Jurassic Park and Egyptian rides. The Jurassic Park one is slightly a wet ride where you might get very little drenched. And the Egyptian ride was totally fun so I'll let you go there and experience. Out of the two, my personal favourite is of course the Egyptian ride. It's day 6 and our last day in Singapore and on this particular day we decided to go shopping and then reach Changi Airport early on to experience the jewel and all of the other scenic places. The three of us decided to leave on Saturday while the others decided to leave on Sunday. We then reached IAM which is Singapore's largest outlet mall with more than 90 outlet stores and apparently it has 80% discount all around the year but didn't work out so well for us so we decided to go back to Boogie Street and shop more over there for our families. Back at Boogie's now and they have an extensive bag and clothes collection and which looks uber fashionable. However, I found the prices to be a bit on the expensive side and maybe it might be the effect of the pandemic so I shopped very little here. Make sure to check out all the floors of this building because there are different layers to it and different shops within the same building across each floor. So all of them have like a variety of collections. We then headed out to the airport which was 22 kilometers away and then it took us exactly about 22 minutes to reach and cover this much of a distance which I find to be so so cool. We then reached the airport in a while and quickly checked in our luggage for our flight which was to take off in Terminal 3. But after that we had to head to Terminal 1 where the jewel is actually located. So to head to Terminal 1 we had to use the SkyTrain and that's what you're going to see on your screen right now. The SkyTrain is actually an automated people mover erstwhile APM which connects all the three terminals inside the airport. 
It was the first driverless and automated system of its kind in Southeast Asia. So, traveling in the SkyTrain is actually free and inter-terminal journey approximately takes 4 minutes this way and the other way around as well. Here is the view of the Jal which is a nature themed entertainment and retail complex surrounded by and linked to the Changi Airport. Its centerpiece is actually the world's tallest indoor waterfall, the Dane Vortex which is basically surrounded by a terraced forest kind of a setting. And on the other side there are several shopping places and eateries for you to just enjoy while you wait for your flight. What it basically does is it recirculates rainwater which is then pumped to the roof to free fall through a round hole at up to like 37000 liters per minute to a basement level pool. This is actually such a great idea to bring attractions and the marketplace together. This just dynamically engages all of the travelers, visitors, residents thereby increasing the revenue of the whole marketplace. The evening sky on this particular day looked fantastic and it was now time to say goodbye to this beautiful place. I hope and pray that I soon get to bring my family here to experience everything that I did. I am super exhausted at this point in time and it was now time to get into the flight. We had our flight with Singapore Airlines and just the sheer hospitality of the staff and the whole in-flight experience was so commendable. As soon as we entered the flight, we were all handed over earphones and there were screens for us to watch latest movies in our 4-hour flight journey. So that was super fun. The food was super tasty and they had taken care of everything that we needed. Now in about some time I will reach Bangalore at around 11 p.m. ish. After that we did plan on taking our cab office cab and going back home safely. With that it's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching the entire Singapore series and reliving these moments with me. Take care and see you all in the next couple of videos.